All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. So Namibia is proving to be one of the most prolific, most prospective new oil and gas regions offshore of Namibia specifically. As Namibia's offshore is a shallow sloping shelf arrangement with very similar setup to the southeastern offshore region of Brazil across the Atlantic on the other side, which has been one of the most prolific oil and gas regions of the world. Namibia is relatively matching up with that, as numerous oil fields and decently sized oil fields at that have been found even in just the small area in which exploration has been carried out so far, which is just this area down at the very southernmost portion of Namibia's offshore territory, where up until now, the various different fields that have been found there are enough to, if they are all brought online on time, by the end of this decade or so, dump Namibia up to around 600 to 800,000 barrels per day or so. And with offshore fields, quickly as an aside, they don't climb up to a peak like typical onshore fields usually do. Since doing everything and setting everything up for an offshore field underwater on the seafloor is really complex infrastructure-wise, the way the industry does it is they drill each well, they tie in all the associated pipeline work and stuff, and set up the production platform, and basically then switch everything on at once. So instead of climbing up to a peak and then declining from that, offshore fields basically roar to life and jump straight up to their maximum capacity, and stay there for a few years before then starting to decline from that. So that's what Namibia is most likely going to do later this decade. And now an even larger part has potentially been added to that, as a massive new oil field has been discovered in that southwestern offshore portion. A field of potentially between 8 and 10 billion barrels of recoverable oil in terms of its size, which when you compare to the resulting production capabilities of different fields and their sizes offshore elsewhere around the world, such as the Tupi field offshore of Brazil, the Cantarell field offshore of Mexico, you'll get a rough expected range of this field on its own, thus potentially being capable of its startup plateau being somewhere between 600 and 800,000 barrels per day which obviously when added to everything else we mentioned previously for Namibia, that would give you a production flare-up range for Namibia over its first, we'll say, four to five years of starting production of eventually hitting somewhere between 1.2 and 1.6 million barrels per day. That is if, of course, there were no other additional fields discovered beyond this point that were then also subsequently brought into production. So there you go, massive new oil field found offshore of Namibia in the southwestern section of their shelf on its own, potentially likely to bring up to 800,000 barrels per day of production on its initial startup, which given the usual offshore time frame, if things are carried out at full speed, would potentially be around 2030 or so. So by the early 2030s, if everything is put into production, all fields plus this one, Namibia will be decently over 1 million barrels per day, potentially up to somewhere between 1.2 and 1.6. All right, that's it for this one. So thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. A link is in the description to a Google Drive full of all kinds of docs, which are full of all kinds of graphs, charts, data compilations, and free-to-access, free-to-use resources. Link in the description. A link to my Catch channel will be in the top end comment as well. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.